ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome. It's the hottest seat with me, Uncle Slappy. Yay! Oh, here we are in the void yet again for another hot seat interview with the amazing, the talented, put your hands together, our guest this evening, Alexa Greenman! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's so good to see you, Lex. Hey, Sloppy. So, Lex, uh, where where did you uh, where did you grow up again? I grew up in Tawasin, BC. In Tawasin. 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 It's Tawasin. Okay. And uh, we know each other because uh, you are here at Havana Restaurant a lot because you are the bar manager here and you're a mixologist and you're a superstar who uh, makes delicious drinks, including one where you, I believe, uh, print on rice paper and then you, uh, you create gorgeous designs that go on the drink. Is that correct? That is correct. I didn't create the design. Our very talented media marketing... Ksenia. Senya did it for us. But yeah, it's cool. It's super cool. Uh, you got to come by and try one. The Governor's Sour. The Governor's Sour. It's Sour. all edible. It's edible paper and edible ink. And it's got this... You put edibles in a drink? Well, different, edibles, different, different edibles. Different edibles. Okay. Different edibles. Cool. We would tell you. I don't I think you can so. sell that. I hope you would. <laughs> I promise we would tell you. Hmm. That's why people love it so much. So, uh, Lex, we're going to fire it up. You're in the hottest seat. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to just uh, ask you a whole bunch of questions, and I want you to answer it honestly so that our viewers get to know you a little bit better. All so right. here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First, the easiest question. What is your idea of perfect happiness? Oh, my God. Perfect God? happiness is, I think, uh, that's just the most difficult question that a person can ask I you, like I think. I to fire it up. You're in the hottest <laughs> seat, not the lukewarm okay, seat. Okay, okay, okay. So my, my perfect, perfect happiness is, uh, uh -huh. I don't know, I get, I'm going to assume that's different for everybody. But yeah. for me, you know, giving and receiving love from the people around you. Oh. I think that's probably the most important thing that you can do. What is your greatest fear? <laughs> Why did I agree to this? <laughs> oh, my greatest fear is, uh, does it have to be like some super existential sounding thing? I, I really hate the idea of... Um, like, I, I don't like big spiders. There's a, my friend lives in Australia, and a giant, like, wolf giant spider came out of his air conditioner <laughs> okay, so in I, his car, and he had to dump it at the side of the road on a highway. That's my greatest fear. <laughs> Spiders are not scary. <laughs> they are so scary. <laughs> Maybe cougars. Okay. Baby. Cougars are cougars are scary. They will they stalk you for fun, which is really scary. Yeah, you know what? Can Makes I swear me on cry this show? every time I'm on, uh, watching the the new not on the news. It's when like a dad uh, stops a cougar from attacking his family. <laughs> and you're like, "How? Instant does a waterfall." Survive that? They they will find you the last thing that you'll ever see is the image of the cougar uh, about to maul your face. So that's scary. I've had so many dreams about that. Also, I was telling John earlier, he thought this was really funny. I had a recurring dream as a kid, so apparently this is also a fear of mine, of the uh, Warner Brothers frog. <laughs> I was in a long, dark hallway, and there was only an entrance and an exit at like the furthest end of both, and he was on a stool, and he was singing his song. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime doll. I just... So that was my scariest <laughs> and dream I I've ever had. And you just <laughs> decided to. So maybe that scared me too. I'm not really sure why that was a scary thing for me as a kid, but. What is the trait that you deplore most in yourself? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I struggle with boundaries. What is the trait that you deplore most in others? Misogyny. Which living person do you admire most? Living? Living. <laughs> I think the New Zealand Prime Minister seems oh. like a really fantastic lady. She's great. I don't know anything uh, about her. Jacinda, Jacinda something. Yeah. Jacinda awesome. Might Jacinda as well. awesome. On what occasion do you lie? To save someone's feelings. Nice. Which living person do you most despise? Other than John. <laughs> I love John. He just... I know. Puts me in tough 
position sometimes. A uh, living person that I despise, yeah. Donald Trump. Fair. That seems like an easy question, right? Yeah. See, they're all easy questions. <laughs> Just yeah. like, what's your idea of perfect happiness? <laughs> and what's your greatest fear? Yeah. Which words or phrases do you overuse? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this is actually this is the Proust list of is questions. Is this before? And I'm, yeah, this was totally. This is uh, well. Yeah. I if anybody was watching, I don't think anyone was, but we had a trivia show here at Havana Theater, and I host a trivia show. It in, like your favorite word was. <laughs> anyway, so I was inspired by John's show that I decided to do a show of my own, and. Yeah, I, I noticed that uh, a lot of the questions I was uh, giving to the people were uh, the word iconic kept coming up. So that became kind of a running joke that it, I kept using the word iconic. I don't even think I use that word that much in real life. It was just what word is it? Iconic. Oh, uh, that you use, uh, or that you overuse. To be fair. I think I fair. say that a lot. Well, Cause that's, that's just who I am. I'm just about justice. Things have to be fair. If you were to die and come back as a person or thing, what would it be? <laughs> Any person or thing? Yeah, person or thing, like a chair or a beluga uh, whale a dog. or Donald Trump. Dogs? A dog. Seem to have breed? A great life. Breed? A uh, half golden retriever, half Bernie's mountain dog. Oh, cute. That's, that's my dog. His, her name's Stevie and she's precious. What is your most treasured life. possession? Is it Stevie? Stevie. What do you regard yeah. as the lowest depth of misery? <laughs> uh, loneliness. Is that an answer? Yeah. Okay, loneliness. What is your favorite occupation? Favorite yeah. occupation. Your favorite occupation. If I liked video games, I think the people who test video games, it seems like the easiest job in the entire world because they're all just nerds anyway. So they're just living out their dream and getting paid so much money to do it. So if I was the type of person, that uh -huh. would be the best job you could get. It's a lot of logging uh, stuff. We'll talk about that logging? later. Logging? Logging bugs. That's about it. And gameplay suggest anyways I'll talk so to you. apparently yeah. that's not it's it's, it's it seems like an awesome idea like they got it the does. candy wall and everything but it's not quite a, uh, that great that which historical know. figure do you identify with most <laughs> you have to give yourself either too much credit or not enough credit in this question so i believe that you deserve a lot of credit <sighs> slappy um obviously it has to be a lady a queer female icon who is now dead. Yep. There's not enough of them. So obviously this is a difficult question. It's funny. There was a murmur from the audience uh, of two that we have here. They said Joan of Arc, which is funny because John's was <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon <laughs> he, is not a good guy. He viewed himself as Napoleon, <laughs> as I recall. <laughs> was not a good person. Also, why is it always from old wartime? Why, like, I don't there's know. nothing relevant that you could have come up with? Fire it up. I don't know. Moving on, what are your favorite <laughs> names? Uh, I really like the name for, are you talking about? I thought you were about to say Fergie. Fergie okay. is a good name. No, uh, if I was to have children one no day. No context, just favorite names. When I have children one day, yep. uh, I plan to name my daughter Dylan. Oh, I think it's a cool name. Nice. And my son Tom, because that was my father's name. Lovely. How would you like to die? <laughs> uh, drowning. Because I heard that you kind of just uh, pass out. When would you like to die? <laughs> 80, no, 92. Because you're like. What? Oh, okay. Not 1992. I was confused for a moment. <laughs> the age of, the ripe old age of 92. Because you are physically still maybe uh, capable, but. You are not to the point where you can't function as a person. You're still going to be... 92 is actually pretty old. So maybe you're going like to be throwing javelin at 92 Hell for yeah. sure. What is your Stay motto? Limber. What's my motto? Your motto. Um, my motto is probably... I don't know. Like, be kind to each other. That's probably Be kind with to each other. Not to be cliche, but... That's it's nice. Yeah. What is your favorite flower? Ooh, my favorite flower. Roses. I love roses. Oh. I know that that's cliche, but I really love roses. I love what? the way they smell. They're perfect 
uh, symbol. I love a huge literature person. So they have a lot of meaning behind them. Each uh, petal hugs the other. That's really beautiful, Slappy. You if know. a bird poops on your head, <laughs> what is the scientific basis of your newfound luck? There is no scientific basis of luck when a bird poops on your head. As we all know, Bob Marley was called the prophet by friends uh, because he was a childhood palm reader. That's what true. is the nickname your friends have bestowed upon you and why? My nickname? Well, my name is Alex. Everyone calls me Lex. Lex Luthor has been a big one. Is that because you're an evil genius? A uh, bald evil genius. Nice. With one personal vendetta. Uh, lifelong vendetta against. Does chocolate taste the same before and after? After what? Have you consumed your fair share of absinthe? Not enough. What two it's liquids good. should never be mixed together? Uh, cream and... No, cream is good in everything. Cream of coconut. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good in everything. Ooh, uh, water and cream. There you go, that's pretty gross. What? Uh, is the hardest cocktail to pull off. You're, you're a bartender. The Ramos gin, gin Fizz, and that's because you're supposed to shake it for 15 minutes, which is too many minutes. Walk us through it. <laughs> gin, uh, uh. orange blossom water, uh -huh. citrus, egg white, orgette. 15 minutes. And is it a meringue? It, you, there is no reason why you need to shake it that long. It's just some sort of thing that was created. It's a fun little thing that bartenders like to do. And people tend to pass it to bartender to bartender. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's dumb. If it's John Hanna was a drink you mixed at the bar, what would it be? Uh, uh, vodka and gra uh, grapefruit juice. <laughs> How many ounces would be legal to serve a man of my weight and body mass? You're the undead, right? So I guess there's no number too high. Excellent answer. <laughs> <laughs> what is the dumbest thing that you have ever overheard while bartending? Dumbest? Yeah, the dumbest. Like there's a lot of dumb like, shit oh, that you dummy. hear, but I'll tell you one really random thing. I I heard this was crazy. Uh, some girl was like, "Yeah," and we were having sex, but then uh, I actually we had to take a phone call, <laughs> and then we it as it turns out, like we realized the next day that he was actually my cousin. Oh dear lord. <laughs> That's not word for word, but in, in essence, it was she was sleeping with someone who she was related to, and she found out while they were naked. When you sit back after a hard day tending the bar, what literature really turns your crank? I'm sorry, could you repeat? <laughs> sure. After a hard day at the bar, uh, what literature really turns your crank? Literature? Yeah, your brain crank. Ooh. I like a good crossword. That's not really literature. <laughs> I mean, if There's each word had to be solved and then it goes in an order <laughs> to write a story. There's, there are phrases in a crossword puzzle. True that. That's my answer. And I stand by What is by your it. top score in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that came I, out in 2007? I have never played Call of Duty. I think what video games gaming have you is played? atrocious. Uh, I grew up... I was born in 1990, so I, a lot of... S Nintendo, bloop, 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 N64 bloop, bloop, stuff, bloop, bloop, Mario Party, bloop, 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 Mario bloop, Tennis. Bloop, 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 bloop. That was a big one for me. Mario I've tennis. never lost, as an adult, I've never lost a game of Goldeneye. Ooh, so sports are big. What's the farthest you've ever jogged? Uh, I used to be a much better runner than I am now. Probably, I think it would have been probably like 12 to 15K. 12K, nice, 15K. That's not that good. It's pretty I good. I realize that's not. It's five I shouldn't times have said I was a good runner. It's five times more than the average for Slappy. That's true. Okay. What happens for you when you're running? Do your bones not just kind of fall apart? Mostly fractures. Yeah. That's a tough recovery. Have you ever considered getting a kidney transplant? What? <laughs> no. Why? Just because? Yeah. No. Great renal program going on. What, what did you say? Your renal your glands. Re Glance? The renal glands. <laughs> I, okay, good. Hey, um, okay, we're going to play a game of word association. So I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first thing that comes to your brain, okay? No editing, no stop Zs. Just let it fire. Here we go. Can I use my phone? N what? 
Okay, Bobby? go ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Here we go. So, get your can. <laughs> Plum. You want to know what? fish. Water. Campfire. Besties. Petticoat. Pedicure. John Hanna. Loser. Tesla. Loser. Love. Love. Really thought that <laughs> loser was going to happen again on that one. All right. Well, uh, that was word association. Thank you for that. When setting the table for dinner, where do you place the dessert spoon? Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to guess furthest left piece of equipment that cool. you're working with. Is so that right? Do you know the answer, Slap? Well, You've been you around just, a long time. I just, some people do the up top, and I'm just not oh, an up top. Oh, is it above? The up top I'm is a, a weird person. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of on the sides for all, all cutlery. You know, if you're going to do it. But how does it, right. it go then? It's I'm not the queen. Plate, you're not the queen. So I don't know. But you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to ask my hand's mom, and uh, she knows all that stuff. Your like, hand's mom? Okay, listen, pal. Uh, so uh, she, she knows all of the perfect uh, things of setting a table. That's all. So uh, what do you think of Seth Rogen's pottery? Does he do pottery? Yeah, he does. I'm sure it's great. I love Seth Rogen. You check it out on Instagram. It's really his, uh, his raku glazes are amazing. How many jackets do you wear, and is it the true source of your coolness? <laughs> like together? Or how many like, jackets do you wear? How many do I own? Where? One. I won. I won. I won. You answered that correctly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see if you get this one. Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, or Pickle, Failure, Beyonce, Pie? Beyonce, Pie. Yeah. I mean, That's seriously, was there really answer. any other answer? No. Scientifically speaking, is it possible to not dance when a Robin song is playing? No. That's a On stupid question. On a scale question. of one to ten, how would you rate Kahoot? <laughs> That's a zero. Kahoot, if you're listening, you have to tighten up because you made a fool of us. Besides... In a glass you take from the bar each morning, how do you take your coffee? I drink lattes, and I, I'll tell you why. Mm. Because drip coffee hurts my stomach. Oh. And that's the truth. Maybe your renal glands oh. are not as strong <laughs> as you thought. Slappy is not very nice tonight. Go what on. country does your favorite coffee come from? What country? Yeah. Um, what's a, what's I like origin? cool climate coffee, so uh, a little South America action. Stay, I, I, I stay away from the sort of African, Mexican stuff. It's Why a little is that? too acidic. Too acidic? As I said before, it hurts my stomach. So I like that sweet, nutty, chocolatey stuff. Mmm, sweet, nutty, chocolatey stuff. And as we covered, chocolate tastes the same before and after. If you know what I mean. So. You worked in a bar that had a bowling alley, a restaurant, and a brewery. Why do you not live there full time? How did you ever leave? Um, well, well, that place is a living hell. Um, <coughs> oh, oh, shit. And all of the people in it. But I'm just kidding. Honestly, I was dragged there from an old relationship. You don't really want me to get okay. into that. The point is, is that Vancouver's home for me, and I was really happy to get back because the ocean uh, is just where I want to be all the time. I hit a nerve. <laughs> Sorry Can about that. Can we end soon? <laughs> but the point is, bowling alley, fun. So much fun. Let's go back to something that you find fun. What is and where is your favorite coffee shop in the world? In the whole world? In the whole wide world. Mine is in Shoreditch, London, the Shoreditch Coffee Shop. It's in an old transit stop, and it was, gosh dang, the, the best coffee I've ever had. Well, since you already sounded really pretentious, I'll go ahead and second that. Oh, fire it up, bud. One time when I was in Seattle, I was just walking down the street, going, we were going to, I think, a brewery, and I really just felt like a coffee, and I saw this little place on the sidewalk, just in kind of like a little indent of a, not an alleyway, but it was just like an indented storefront, and it had a coffee cup on the front of it. Classic Seattle coffee world, they didn't have a name. So I just walked in, had a coffee. It was the, to this day, the best coffee I have ever had, oh. and I have never been able to find it ever again the, it was a big coffee cup it was just a big coffee cup on the was front was it near the seattle public market uh it was directly across the street i think yeah no okay 
No, it wasn't. It wasn't Starbucks, Sloppy. It you can't get Seattle, me. It wasn't Seattle. Don't best. try and get me on that. Okay. It wasn't Starbucks. Okay. Oh, runner-up, pretentious-wise, uh, there was a place. <laughs> I, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was in San Francisco, but I'll tell you about it later. Anyways, uh, good story. Uh, true or false round? True or false? We're just going to hear true or false. Would you bungee jump? Or you would bungee no, jump? No, I would skydive. I would not bungee jump. That whiplash action. Pff, you have run like on stage with the band Sloan <laughs> and sung along with Underwhelmed. True or false? I don't know what that is. Oh, that must have been me. You secretly want to start a band with your coworker, JR. A band? A, a group. Ba a, dan a dance group, maybe? Not a band. So true ish. True ish. You I ghost forgot these are true or false. Go on. True or false? You ghost wrote liberal MP Sheila Cops biography, <laughs> Cops the Tops. False. Definitely false. True or false? You have been arrested. False. True or false? You own a crossbow. <laughs> false. True or false? You have been arrested for crossbow related reasons. <laughs> Do you make these questions for yourself? No. True or false? <laughs> false to that too. What is your favorite swear word? Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. I don't endorse using the word bitch, but it sure gets the point across. What is your favorite food? Cheese. Cheese? What yeah. type? Are you a manchego? Oh, I'm an old sharp cheddar kind of gal. Oh, sharp and cheddar. You, I could eat it alone in anything on anything. Ice Is cream. that a sadness thing or a delicious thing? Why would that be a sadness thing? Oh, I don't know. I pictured a human being sitting alone eating a block of sharp cheddar, and I thought, sadness. <laughs> However, I think in your particular instance, it's, it's delicious. That sounds like satisfaction. That sounds like a happy person. I don't know why. Are there edibles involved in your eating a full block of <laughs> no, sharp cheddar? No, you don't need edibles to eat cheese. Cheese, to enjoy cheese. Everybody enjoys cheese, except for those who can't eat cheese, but they still probably enjoy it. They just don't eat it because they can't I eat think it. we found your motto. <laughs> there you go. Everybody enjoys cheese. Everybody. What is your middle name? Michelle. Michelle? Shake my hand. You have completed the hottest seat. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're so welcome. We know a lot more about Lex Greenman now, and if you ever want to meet... Uh, her, uh, drink her delicious Governor's Sour and see all that beautiful art. Or maybe come down to uh, the Fun Day show uh, when we are live uh, June uh, 19th? 17th. June 17th, I think it is. June 17th. June 17th, yeah. look for the event. Uh, we are going to be live here in the studio with real people. Uh, we're going to be drinking and eating, uh, still safely distanced and uh, wearing masks and all that, but still. It is going to be real. We are going to be seeing you. We love you. And uh, from home, please give a warm a round of applause for this Lex Greenman. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to the Hottest Scene. Bye, Goodbye. Slappy.